Hello everyone and welcome back to the 12 Days of Soapmas 2022. Today I'm going to be doing two different kits from Brambleberry. I didn't pay for these, they were sent to me quite a while ago and I'm just now getting to doing all of my PR packages. So here we have a skincare set, DIY skincare, and here we have a oat and honey set which I believe is melt and pour. I could be wrong though because I haven't actually opened this up, I haven't looked at any of the PR statements, I tried to stay relatively uninformed so I could give you guys my first impressions very honestly. So I'm just going to pull off these beautiful, and they really are beautiful, uh, outer wrappings here. Also, I just love Brambleberry's whole look. It is so clean. These look so minimal and bougie, like skincare you might find at Anthropology. What's the new trendy skincare everybody likes nowadays? You know what I'm talking about? Like that trendy skincare that's like green and it's like kale, like foaming face wash. I don't remember what it's called. What I'm saying is it fits the whole trendy skincare look and I can't wait. Let's find out a little more about this oatmeal and honey set. Ooh, this set has what you need. Fragrance oils, a silicone mold, and a body balm base. Huh? Ooh, okay, so what I'm seeing is that there's a variety of different things I can do with this one set. So they have the fragrance oils and then they have a body balm. It's really cool. So here are the fragrances. There's four different ones. And Wildflower Honey, which I love, is inspired by, and golly darn if I never know how to say this word, L'Occitane? I believe it's L'Occitane, I can't remember something honey and propolis. I don't know how to pronounce anything. You know, that's actually something I've been trying to work on this year is increasing my vocabulary and learning the Latin roots for words because I get on camera and don't know how to say anything. Ooh, look at this melt and pour mold. Wow, this is like hyper detailed. Y'all seeing this? Look at this thing. That is so cool. Right. I also have some oat oil. Neat. All right. That's everything for that box. Ooh. So this is similar in that it is a bunch of curated ingredients, but it's not necessarily a kit. It's like, here's some inspirational items you can definitely use. Run with it and see what you create. Cucumber essential water. <laughs> oh. Rose hip seed oil, love that. Argan oil, squalene oil, or squalene, who knows? I also know that this is a natural oil that is not obtained from whales. Yes, this squalene oil, a lightweight oil derived from olives. Some facial lotion base, <laughs> cool. Okay, and I think that's it. So what I have here is a lot of really cool raw materials to make some cool crafts. I'm going to think about all this for a second and then I will bring you guys back once I have a little clearer of an idea of what I'm actually going to be crafting today. Okay, so I did a little research on Brambleberry's website concerning some of these ingredients. I went into my pantry and I kind of supplemented for a couple of things so that I might be able to create up to four projects. Now, let, let me let be, be very, very clear. clear. I am doing this for myself personally. This is not a tutorial. This is not DIY instructions. I do not know enough about skincare and the science therein to teach anybody else how to do it. There, I said it. Now I can follow the directions on a kit, but as far as chemical properties, et cetera, et cetera, that's getting into something that I would need to do a lot more research on, um, really brush up on my knowledge about what each and every ingredient does, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll be happy to tell you why I picked what I picked, and I can refer you to Brambleberry and many other chemist type creators who could give you a way better jumping point than I ever could for DIY skincare. I should also say 
that I do not use DIY skincare. Uh, besides my homemade soaps and scrubs and things of that nature, uh, skincare specifically, I have incredibly sensitive, needy skin. It's kind of annoying. I know there's some people that can go to the store, slap that CeraVe on, and they are good to go, but I have picky skin. I have always had relatively what people would call bad skin my whole life, so I'm not the person to go to for skincare advice. Now, I bought these bottles from Target. They were two for $3, I think. Yeah, two for $3. They're colored glass, which is so pretty, you know? And I thought, well, let's make like a cucumber toner. We already have what is essentially a cucumber hydrosol. It's called Cucumber Essential Water by Brambleberry, but that's what it is. Mix that with a little witch hazel, maybe put a few essential oils in there if I wanted to, and bam, you're done. I also thought it would be fun to melt down this beeswax body balm base, add a little bit of fragrance and maybe some of this oat oil, and put it in these adorable little silicone molds they sent me so we'll have like a body balm, a toner. I have the rosehip oil and the other oils they put in the kit, but I also have some fruit oils like watermelon oil and blueberry oil. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to have like a facial oil that was like fruity and stuff? And then I looked at Brambleberry and they already have something like that, which is great. And then I thought for the final thing, we can do a facial like scrub. Brambleberry has a great one. It's called the Green Tea Face Scrub Project. I actually, I'm gonna be subbing out the green tea for a little bit of coffee extract because caffeine in your face equals yes please. We're gonna start with the body bars. I do have to pick a fragrance for this, okay? And I think I'm gonna go with the Golden Oats fragrance because it is among my favorite that they offer. So first let's go ahead and get the balm out of its container and into our heatable container. Everything is in, let's go mix it up. And blend it down. Okay, so while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my extra additives. So 5% of four ounces is around 5.6 grams. So I am going to add two grams of our oat oil here. And then the rest of the 5.6 grams, I will make the golden oats fragrance. I gotta be very careful here at the end, do it drop at a time. <laughs> Excellent, go ahead and mix that up a little bit. Here's my base all melted down. And it is really, really, really hot right now. So I'm gonna set this and my additives off to the side and we'll just move on to the next project. So next up we have the facial scrub. We'll start with this jar here of the facial lotion. So first, let's go ahead and get all of our base into a container where we can more easily mix it. It feels so lightweight, almost jelly-like. Okay, so first I'm gonna add a little bit of spirulina powder and a little bit of chlorella powder. Add in a tiny bit of coffee extract, some white bursting beads for exfoliation, and then mix it all up. I'm also going to add in just a little bit of kale and clay. And you know what I would bet would work even better than this beautiful long cylinder stick here? A mini whisk. <laughs> Um, wonderful. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is add just the teensiest bit of the wildflower honey fragrance, and I do literally mean like two drops. Just because those botanical additives can be a little bit smelly, and I love a smelling good scrub. Look how pretty, everything is all suspended and stuff. Ugh. I just love it. Okay, let's put it in our jar. Okay, here is what it looks like in the jar. So cute. Honestly, I do not know what's wrong with me, but I literally, for the life of me, cannot get this jar to close. I might have to get Caleb to come do it, but this is what the scrub looks like. Okay, this has cooled down quite a lot. So now I can add 
the additives and mix them in very, very well. This is going to be scrumptious. And then we can pour it into our little molds here. Look how cute. I am obsessed. And that whole little jar makes three just perfectly. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way because I can see that getting in the way over the next few minutes with ease. Okay, so now I'm going to make the cucumber facial toner. And I'm gonna start with some witch hazel. Make sure you get alcohol-free witch hazel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz in about four ounces. Then I'm going to add one ounce of the cucumber. Ah, I remember the name of the beauty thing. It's pharmacy, pharmacy beauty. Okay, now I'm gonna mix this up. And no, I'm not fragrancing it. I'm not adding any essential oils. We're just gonna use it just like this. And I am just gonna open up this right here. I actually absolutely love using these containers because they're bendable. So you can make a nice little pitcher and I totally just spilled, but that's okay because there is no way I'm going to go get a funnel. Awesome. Go ahead, mix it up. Ta-da! Facial toner. And finally, we have our face oil. So we're going to be using some argan oil and squalene oil and three extracts, blueberry, watermelon, and papaya. Okay, so add a little bit of that rosehip seed oil, add a little bit of our blueberry extract, add a little bit of watermelon extract. Perfect. It's good when you can pour right the first time. Add a little papaya extract. And just a smidge, is that right? Oh, a little more. There we go. That squalene oil, woohoo! Mix it up and pour it into our dropper bottle. I'll probably end up giving this to my mom because I do not use facial oils because they make me break out. But I know that they are something super, super helpful for people with aging skin. Go ahead and put that little lid on there. Perfect, all ready to go. The final thing we have to do is clean up our ingredients and pop these little bars out of the mold. I don't know if they're still a little too warm. We'll have to see. Ooh, those look so good. Okay, I'll wait to pop out the rest of them and put them in the freezer so they come out even better, but that looks so good. And it feels so soft. Ooh la la, I cannot wait to use this. That was so much fun. I mean, I literally have a toner, a face oil, a face scrub, and a body bar all from one day of crafting. Thank you so much, Rambleberry, for sending me all of these lovely goodies. If you guys are interested in crafting your own skincare, like hyaluronic acid serum or facial cleansers or clay mask. Bravelberry can hook you up. They have all of those items right underneath an easy to search header that says skincare on their website. I will leave it all linked down below just for your convenience and uh, can't wait to use some of these, gift some of these, and see you all tomorrow for the next day of the 12 Days of Soap Mist. Bye for now and have an amazing day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!